<laughs> Chairman, welcome, gentlemen. Congratulations. Have any of you not tried a case to verdict in a courtroom? Not tried a case. Uh, Mr. Pitch. Um, have you ever tried a jury trial? I have not. Civil? No. Criminal? No. Bench? No. State or federal court? I have not. Have you ever taken a deposition? I was involved in taking depositions when I was associate so, uh, at Wyoming Ryan. When I, uh, involved? Out of law school. Oh, um, out of law school. But that, that was, uh, but you're 50. You never have so. How many depositions? Okay. Mm -hmm. But that, that, that was, uh, you ever how many, how many, how many depositions? I would, um, I'd be struggling to, to, to remember. Uh, uh, less than 10. You'd be yes. struggling. Less than five. Probably somewhere. You ever tried to take a, a deposition by yourself? Uh, I believe no. Okay. Uh, have you ever argued a motion in state court? I have not. Oh, okay. Mm, okay. Have you ever argued a motion mm. in federal court? No. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, when's mm. the last time you read the federal rules of civil procedure? Uh, the federal rules of civil procedure, um, I, uh, in my current position, I obviously don't need to stay as, um, uh, you know, uh, invested in those on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, uh, but I do uh, try to keep uh, up to speed. We do oh, have... Uh, uh, I'm not invested in the law, at the, at the federal election but I'm a lawyer. You guide them in what? And uh, as a commissioner, we oversee that litigation. We advise them on overall. Oversee how? Litigations and edits to briefs and so forth and meet with them about. Uh, I wouldn't want you editing my papers. That. If I could ask you this, sure. I'm sorry to interrupt okay. you, but we're only given five minutes for five of you. So. Sure. When, when's the last time you read the federal rules of evidence? The question. The federal, the federal rules of evidence all the way through would. Um, no, page five. Well, Okay. Uh, obviously, I have been involved in when I was an uh, associate. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. That was uh, something that we had to stay uh, closely abreast of. Abreast? And, you had to um, stay abreast of it? Some issues dealing with evidentiary issues that will cause me to um, examine those periodically. And, and the judge, you're obviously going to have witnesses. Can yes. you tell me what the uh, Dobear standard is? What? Yes or no? As, as, uh, when I, was to I don't know. I don't. Well, yes or no? Uh, I had to, yes. Um, yes, I know. That's what you just said. Again, do a deep dive. Oh! I, I, I a deep dive. We're scuba diving this, now. This We're Jacques Cousteau up in this bitch. Okay. Because he asked you a simple question and you don't know the answer. Turn it uh, off. Throw them away. That, uh, do you? That do you? That do you, Matthew? Do you understand? Because I don't think you do. Uh, but I, as I mentioned in my earlier answer, I believe that the, the path that I've taken um, to be one who's been in a decision-making role um, on, uh, I would guess now, somewhere between 1,500 and 2,000 enforcement matters, um, overseeing, I, I don't know how many uh, cases in federal court the commission has, has uh, been a party to during my time. Yes, sir. I've, I've read your, your resume. Um, Shade. Shade. Just for the record, do you know what a motion in limine is? I would probably not be able to give you a good definition. So no! Just say no! Um, do you know what the uh, Younger Abstention Doctrine is? Uh, yeah, I, I've heard of it, but I Again, you've heard, cool. you've heard tell. I, I heard you gonna see, you all see that a lot. Just, and, I've, I've heard tell of legal concepts. I've just okay. never, um, I've never dabbled in them. Any of you, even though I get paid blonde. to do so. Okay. No. Any of you ever bought a 
bought in support of the Ku Klux Klan? No, Senator. Okay. Let the record reflect everybody said no, Mr. Chairman. The record will show that. Thank, thank you, gentlemen. I wish we had more time to spend together. Did he just, he just asked... Um, overseeing, I, I don't know how many uh, cases... This is actually good news, everyone. Uh, follow your dreams, uh, reach for the stars, and you might just get a job you're really unqualified for. Uh, I, for one, have always wanted to go to outer space. Math was not my strong suit in school, um, neither was science, engineering, anything like that, but if this is the way that we're gonna do things, I don't see why NASA shouldn't hire me today. I guess that's good news for all of us. Um, in addition to the gigantic tax break we're gonna get from Trump, we can also just do whatever we want to do and really ruin other people's lives in the process just because we feel like having a title for something that we've never done. So this this is, should all be great. Those terms that he did not know, and I found out this from asking my sisters who are both lawyers. One of them, she doesn't usually answer me and like look at the like crazy things that I post to her because she did <clears throat> doesn't have time, but she looked at this and she said that she was at work. She fell out of her chair. She gasped so loud that two other people came in the room. Then they called two other associates to come over and, and watch too. It's, it's literally would be like if you were a chef and you didn't know how to turn the stove on. I was gonna say make rice, but I don't like making rice. There's a lot of opportunity for error in that and I would just leave it to the experts. I buy rice frozen from Trader Joe's. I don't like it. I don't, I buy frozen rice. I this is why like our voting rights are being taken away and stuff like that. And then the last question, Have you ever blogged for the KKK? Is this where we, is this where we are in society that this is a normal question? Hi, hi. Do you have experience working in retail? Have you ever blogged for the KKK? No? You're hired. What the f, like what, what's going on?